Hello and welcome back to Sea of Thieves. In today's episode, we will be covering, again, the basics of Sea of Thieves. This will be our third episode on the basics, and later on in our How Not to Suck at Sea of Thieves series, we'll be diving into the more specifics of the four different trading companies, as well as ship combat and other videos. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. A. Don't keep getting drunk. I hate it when I join a new crew of all these new players and the only thing they can ever find is the refill tankard. Also, don't immediately lock your crew in the brig. As soon as somebody joins you, don't lock them in the brig if you don't know them. They can actually be pretty good players. Lock them in the brig if they're doing something wrong or if they're threatening your ship with a barrel or something. As this fellow was doing here to me. Alright, also, don't keep puking on the guy in the brig. It really doesn't bother them that much. Alright. Th something to keep in mind is if you are puking, you can uh, put it into a bucket. Also, if someone pukes on you, it will cause you to puke, which you can also puke into a bucket. This will allow you to save it for later, and you can throw it onto somebody else in order to ruin their combat awareness. Alright, next thing is, don't keep all your gold on your ship. Sell stuff. Do not do this. <clears throat> There's absolutely no reason to. And for the ordering of the uh, stuff, these are all the most worthless items in the game. You have the foul skull, the castaway chest, the white chicken on mission. Even it's worth absolutely nothing off mission for the most part, as well as the black, or I mean the pink pig and the blue snake. There's also the crate of fine sugar in this worthless category. All right, moving on, we have the second category. In this category, we have the Seafarer's chest, the disgraced bounty skull, the red chicken, the black and pink spotted pig, the red snake, and the crate of rare tea. These are worth a little bit more, but they're not worth very much still. Alright, moving on to our third category. We have the marauder's chest, the hateful skull, the black chicken, the black pig, and the black snake, as well as the exotic silks. This is our third most worthless rank. All right, moving up, we have the Captain Skeleton Skull and the Captain Skeleton Chest. And these are new as to Cursed Sails, and they are between the Captain's Chest and the Marauder's Chest. Here we have the Captain's Chest, the Gold Chicken, the Gold Striped Pig, the Gold Snake, and the Exquisite Spices, as well as the Villainous Skull. These are the mostly the highest uh, rank in your non-cursed chest category. And it's also below uh, things such as like the Athena's chest. And speaking of cursed chest, we have the Grog chest. This is just above Captain's chest, although you will sometimes it'll be worth less as it is random. And then above that, we have the Chest of Sorrows. And this Chest of Sorrows is worth a little bit more gold than the Grog, but it is not worth as much rep. Alright, and above that we have the Stronghold Skull and the Stronghold Chest. Now these two are above the last two as I previously mentioned, and they are only found after completing a Stronghold Raid. And above those we have the Athena's Chest, the highest chest in the game, which is only available at the end of a Pirate Legends Athena's Quest. Alright, and moving on to these. These crates, I would not recommend selling them. They are worth a lot more just to keep around than they are to sell them. They are worth almost nothing if sold off mission, and even on mission they're not worth much. But I would stock up on them as they are a mobile uh, ammunition slash wood slash banana supply, which is very useful to keep in key parts of your ship or to go and bring onto islands to collect more supplies instead of making multiple runs. And then we have the explosive barrels. Also not worth much to sell off of mission, but I would recommend selling them at the end, just like the crates. And so you can get a little bit of gold off of them. Uh, on mission, they are worth a good amount. And they're also very useful to keep on your ship in order to defend against other players as well as attack them. And then we'll go ahead and move on to selling. So when you're trying to sell something and you have stuff that you really don't want to lose, check to make sure there's no one at the outpost. If there is someone at the outpost, you're going to want to either ally with them or the much better solution usually is to just go ahead and sink them at least that's what my crews usually do so we have an athena's chest on board and we really don't want to lose it so i got on board cleared the uh cleared their ship there's no one here uh, my guys broadsided them 
and they sunk. After they sunk, and there was a lack of enemies nearby, we kind of knew they were on the island. As you can see here, I just saw one. Something to note is apparently you cannot shoot them through this hole in the, um, sh in the souls thing, and also you can't shoot them through that hole. You have to be actually in the door of the souls thing. Also, this guy just ran right past me, and I have no idea why. He knows his ship wasn't sunk, and he just kept on running. All right. Don't do this. Don't be like this guy, please. Well, I mean, unless you're against me, that would be nice. They are pretty easy that way. Alright, so now that um, we have sunk this guy's ship, he will not be respawning there. And he was on a sloop, so there could be two of them. But now that I've killed one, there can only be one left. I run around a little bit looking for him. And since he's still a threat, and I've essentially cleared the island, I... Uh, I ran up and secured the route for our Athena's chest drop or turn in. What you're going to want to do is turn in your most valuable loot and then work your way down. Uh, starting with an Athena's chest if you have one, in which I'd recommend most of your crew protecting your guy, as it is extraordinarily val valuable for anyone that is a legend, and it is still rather valuable for anyone that isn't. And uh, as you can see, I'm protecting this guy. Looking for the second guy on that sloop that we sank. Don't see him, so we can consider this outpost relatively secure at the moment. The, uh, as I previously stated, you're going to want to keep turning in your most valuable loot first. Now, the exception to this would be if you have a chest of sorrows, you want that off your boat as quickly as possible. If you have a pig, you want to get that off so you don't keep wasting bananas. And also, um... You're going to want to uh, <clears throat> turn in a, your least valuable item first. Your very first item, if you're just sailing up to an outpost, no matter what, should be your least valuable item. It, unless someone has already cleared the outpost. So, in this case, we did not turn in our least valuable item because I had already cleared the outpost. But... More times than not, you're going to want to send somebody out with, like, a castaway's chest while everybody else remains on the boat. And that ensures that if anyone is waiting on the outpost for an ambush, they will ambush your castaway's chest, and that's all you will lose. Uh, as opposed to losing, like, an Athena's chest or a captain's chest or whatever your most valuable item is. Alright, another thing I want to mention is that you're going to want to park as close as possible to the merchant in order to maximize your efficiency while selling your loot, thus minimizing your chances of another vessel coming up and interrupting slash stealing some of your loot. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe in order to get back to the basics. Alright, and if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and smack the subscribe button in the middle of your screen. If you want to see our latest video, click on the right. And if you want to watch a semi-related playlist, click on one of the two buttons to your left.